Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Gemini. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using the Tarot for Beginners that came in this pouch. I'll show you the cards, man. Well, these are them, actually. Oi! So that's what they look like. Same thing, just different style. I like the colors, so I chose them. So, Gemini, to everyone stopping by, darlings, 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 I welcome you, I welcome you, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Darlings, please know I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart, always, always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Not every message is going to be meant for you, baby. So, boy, I don't usually use my cards as well. But it seems like you might be different thought about something. Maybe you're recuperating from something. So let's see, Gemini. Gemini. So Gemini, this is for you. You got the Knight of Swords not too long ago. There was maybe a shift in your environment. Maybe things were revealed to you. That's the moon, revelations, intuition. The star card, good things were happening for you. You kept your eye on the prize and you kept on moving no matter what. You got the lovers, that's you, Gemini. Or was it new love that came in? You got the ace of cups, babies. That's about abundance, prosperity. That's about your cup overflowing. You got the five of cups. Is it abundance of arguing? Huh? You been having some conflict? Huh? What's been going on? You can talk to me. I'm Gemini too. You got the two of wands. The two of wands is about decisions. Is about, well, choices. Choices, really. You got that way to go or you got that way to go. Whichever way you go, it'll be making progress, okay? It's totally up to you. You got the five of wands. There's some kind of conflict. I don't know if it's internal or external, but there's some conflict going on here. You got the five of wands. And then you got the knight of wands. This conflict is passionate. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot of passion involved in this um, conflict here. So let's see. We got the Knight of Swords. This is for Gemini. Okay, so on top of the Knight of Swords, Gemini, you got the High Priestess. There's some kind of shift in your, <laughs> your, in your intuition here. Huh? You got the Page of Pentacles and you got the Ten of um, Ten of Cups. Maybe you need to your, use your intuition in regards to the message you received in about the family. Maybe you received some messages from the Divine. You need to pay attention to in regards to the family. That's another way I could see this too. The High Priestess. The Page of Pentacles is about messages. Financial um, messages in regards to finances. The Ten of Cups is about happiness. Harmony, marriage, happiness, alignment. So, however it resonates with you, okay? It could be on the spiritual side. It could be on the physical side. You got the High Priestess, you got the Page of Pentacles, and you got the Ten of Cups. That's past energy here, okay? Then you got the Moon. Maybe things were revealed to you. 
Um, it brought in some delays. I don't know exactly what happened or what was revealed. Um, we got the Seven of Cups here. You had some choices to make. You need to use your imagination. And then you got the Magician. You got all the tools you needed to make or you need. Yeah, you need it because this is past here. So you, you got all the tools you needed. You're the Magician. They're all within you. Every one of you. Every one of us. You gotta find it. There's magic within. You got some choices though. Don't get too over analytical and miss the magic, okay? You got the hangman, which are about delays. You got the seven of cups, which is about choices. Maybe these choices are causing some delays from the magic coming in. Maybe those delays are came in because of what was revealed to you. Then you have the star. You got good things here. Oh, you got the Queen of Pentacles, which could be a, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. You got the Queen of Swords, which could be a Gemini. And I say that's you, Gemini. I'm going to leave that with you. That's the Gemini there. Um, that's you, Gemini. And you feel kind of upside down emotionally. Why is that? Why? What's going on? You need to stay focused, okay, babies? Don't give up. You got the star card here. That's staying focused, keeping your eye on the prize, wherever your goal, whatever, whatever, wherever it is that you want to get to, wherever you see yourself, okay? The high priestess also could be telling you to keep some secrets, okay? You don't have to let everyone know everything, all right? People have sometimes a squashing, making us squash our own dreams. So on top of the star card, you got the queen of pentacles, you got the queen of swords, and you got the Five of Cups. Now, the Queen of Pentacles could also be someone, maybe it's your energy, you know how to take care of the finances. Are you learning how to take care of the finances? You know, the Queen of Swords, which is you, you letting go of things that no longer serve you. And what you're letting go of is a lot of loss and regret, disappointment and despair. And you're letting it go. You've released it. It's gone. You got the Queen of Pentacles, you got the Queen of Swords, and you got the Five of Cups. And then you got the Lovers. Now the Lovers, I said, could be you, Gemini. Or it could be new love. Mm, maybe there was new love. But something was revealed. That brought in some de delays. Cause some chaos and confusion that's still ongoing right now. These revelations got you a lot of, um, gave you some anxiety and fear. Don't let that eat you up, okay? Deal with what's going on. There's some kind of chaos and confusion going on in your, in your, um, in your home. A time that should have been a time for celebration is, is, chaos and confusion going on right this moment i got the four of wands i have the tower and i have the moon this was sudden change something happened suddenly that brought in a lot of fear and anxiety but it was brewing from the past it was brewing it was brewing and you you had a feeling about it you're pretty intuitive you got the four of wands, you got the tower, and you got the moon. Whatever was revealed brought in some chaos and confusion. An abundance of it. An abundance of it. There's something... There was something unhealthy here. Very unhealthy. Or there is something unhealthy here. It's an abundance of something unhealthy. On top of the Ace of Cups, we got the Devil. Addictions. Anything negative in your environment. Whatever it is.
I say you're gonna overcome it. I say you're gonna overcome it. You got two strong energies over this. Two strong positive energies over this devil. And it's caught, the Ace of Cups is a positive card as well. And it's caught between that two. So I'm going to say, whatever was revealed to you caused a lot of chaos and confusion. It has something to do with love. Then we got the devil here, which is a very unhealthy environment. Unhealthy for you, unhealthy for everything in your environment. Then we got the justice card. And the justice card is about fairness and balance. You know, I mean, if you're going through something legal, um, if you set out with integrity, you will win. You know what I mean? That kind of energy is karmic energy. What goes around comes around, you know. So there's something unhealthy here, um, Gemini. And then you got the emperor. The emperor is a positive card. You know, maybe you find balance where this negative energy is concerned. And that's what I'm going to say. Whatever this negative energy is, you have found your balance. You got the justice card, which is about balance. And then you got the, um, the emperor, which is about stability. Okay? Solid foundations. So that's how we're going to put it. You will overcome. And you have overcome. Have And you know what the feeling is like because you've overcome it. Feel that feeling. You got this. You got the devil, you got the justice card, and you got the emperor above the ace of cups. And then the five of swords, conflict. Maybe it's a lot of conflict in your environment. Maybe there's a conflict with the fire energy, a Aries in your environment here. We got the king of cups. You see the emperor is also an Aries energy. This energy is from the past here. There's some kind of finance coming towards you from this energy from the past. I don't know if any of this makes any sense to you, okay? You got the King of Wands, you got the Six of Cups, and you got the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Wands, now we got the Emperor here, right? And the Emperor... Could be an Aries. So you got the King of Cup, King of King of Wands, <laughs> the fire energy, the King of Wands from the past. Or maybe you're thinking about something about some finances that came from the King of Wands from the past. It's causing some kind of conflict. It's causing conflict. But you got a choice. You got the two of wands, you gotta make a choice. You got to use your intuition no matter what's happening. You're above your challenges, okay? Don't get sucked into any negative argument. You could always walk away from an argument, you hear me? But I know you could be baited into one as well. So. You got the page of cups. You need to use your intuition where this is concerned, okay? Where the choice you make is concerned. You got the seven of ones. You're going to be above your challenges no matter what. Yeah, you're going to be meditating on it. Just don't stay in your head too long, okay? Just don't stay in your head. And remember to open, open up your heart. Okay, open up your heart to you. Be gentle with you. Be gentle with others as well. Gemini, I know sometimes your tongue can cut like a knife. Okay? Just be gentle. Something I'm learning as well. You got the Page of Cups. You got the Eight of eight of Wands and the Four of Cups. So use your intuition. And then you have the Five of Wands, which is... Oh, I ain't reading all of them, there. You got the Five of Wands, which is about conflict. There is conflict, but there is a completion. This conflict will go away. <laughs> Whatever is going on, bonds will be mended. Okay? You have the three of wands. You're preparing. Things are expanding for you. 
Um, you might be going on a trip somewhere. Then you got the five of wands, which is about conflict. But I say, because right after that, we got the world card. And I'm going to say that this argument comes to completion. It's over. It's done. There's no more arguing. You're not arguing anymore. Okay? You're not arguing. You got the three of wands, you got the five of wands, and you got the world card. And then you have the knight of wands. The knight of wands is about impulsive energy. Impulsive energy can bring in arguments, you know, Gemini. Or, you know, the five of swords, maybe your, your tongue. See, your tongue can cut like a knife sometimes. Come on now. We can change that, you know. Once you're aware of it, we can change it. It's practice. It doesn't happen overnight. It's practice, okay? We practice and we practice and we practice. So anyway, you got the Knight of Wands. Um, you're kind of um, looking back at the past here. You're worried about something, something with money. Um, something that brought you a new beginning. You got the Fool. You got the Seven of Pentacles. You got the Fool. And then you got the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is like arguing again. What's this conflict about? The money, you don't think you got enough? It's enough for a new beginning, wasn't it? I don't know, man. But don't worry about the money. Worry brings worry. You got the fool here. This is about a new beginning. But this new beginning is bringing in some conflict for somebody. That's why I say keep some things to yourself, okay? Not everybody needs to know everything. You got the seven of pentacles, you got the fool, and you got the five. The five of swords. You might be having a conflict with the earth energy. You got earth energy up there too. You got the king of pentacles here. This is a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. You got the Hierophant. I don't know, it might have something to do with your marriage, a marriage, knowledge gained, but something seems where, where, where this, this earth energy is concerned, it seems like, okay, I got the king of pentacles, which is like a business minded, good business person, knows how to make the right decision where the finances are concerned, business, you know what I mean? That kind of energy, very focused on money. Then we got the Hierophant here. The Hierophant is about knowledge gained. Maybe knowledge from life, you know? Could be marriage. Whatever it is, it's going to bring in some happiness. It's going to bring in some happiness to you. We got the King of Pentacles, we got the Hierophant, and we got the Sun. I don't know the King of Pentacles, if this is the energy like a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, or if this is just you feeling really good about financial aspect, the financial aspect of your life. Might be about a marriage, I don't know. But it's going to bring in some happiness to your environment. You got the King of Pentacles, you got the Hierophant. And you have the sun card. And I'm going to leave it right there for you, Gemini. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon. This, these arguments are done. This unhealthy thing is over. Okay? You got it. You can handle this. You're standing strong. Ask the divine for help. You will get assistance. I'll chat with you later. And I love you all.